My name is Tim Sutinen from privacyproshop.com and in this video I'll explain what nemomail.me is and show how you can sign up and use it. nemomail.me is the anonymous and optionally encrypted email service from privacyproshop.com. We named it nemomail because the word nemo is Latin and means nobody. This video is timestamped to make it easy for you to jump to the sections you care about. So, let's go over what makes Nemo Mail anonymous. Number one, anonymous purchase with cryptocurrencies. If you don't have cryptos, you could get a Visa gift card anonymously and use that to purchase Nemo Mail. I have a video on that too, so I have a link to it somewhere up here. If you pay with cryptos, the only thing we ask for is your country, state, and postal code for determining sales tax. Cryptocurrencies have varying levels of anonymity, and the best anonymity is with Monero, which is also the default choice. Number two, anonymous account creation. We don't ask for any identifying information. Number three, Sending and receiving email anonymously over Onion Routed LokiNet using SMTP, IMAP, POP, or Webmail. There is no way to accidentally expose your IP address with Nemo Mail. Number four, your true IP address is never exposed in email headers when you use Nemo Mail. You must first connect to LokiNet in order to use Nemo Mail and LokiNet uses its own addressing system that completely hides your real internet IP address. Number five, addresses that sound like legitimate business addresses. Anonymity comes in many ways, and an address that sounds like it is coming from an established business might be just what you want. Nemo Mail gives you several domain names to choose from. Number six, Optional encryption of inbound emails. If you wish to make sure nobody else can read your emails that are sitting in your mailbox at the Nemo Mail server, you can choose to have them be automatically encrypted with your own public key right before they're placed in your mailbox. Your private key is only in your own possession, so if you choose to encrypt them, you are the only one who has the private key to decrypt them. Please note that this encryption only happens right before the email is placed in your mailbox. If your threat model requires higher level of security and privacy, please have the emails be encrypted prior to being sent to you. Next, let's go over what you need on your computer. First, you need to get LokiNet running. Here is how you do it in Windows. Head on over to lokinet.org, click on download, Choose Windows, click Open File, run through the setup, I agree, next, next, you just leave those at default, click Install, click Finish, then right click on the Windows button, choose Computer Management, Services and Applications, click on Services, go down the list to LokiNet, for Windows, right here, right click on it, choose properties, tell it to start automatically, click apply, click OK, and then reboot the computer. Once the computer has rebooted, verify that you have LokiNet connectivity. Open the command prompt, type in ping nemo.loki. And if you get responses, you should be good to go. Yep. You do, it's good to go. Next, I'm going to set up LokiNet on Linux Mint, which is a distribution based on Ubuntu. This is Linux Mint 21.1, I believe. So first of all, let's go to deb.oxen.io. There it is. And if we zoom up a little bit, it'll tell us, here we go. We'll set up the repositories first with the um, signing key. Just copy and paste that in there. Type in your password. And you go and 
get the actual repository itself added after the signing key. But this one you do need to change it a little bit when you're using Linux Mint because Linux Mint has its own names for the distribution releases. And this is based on Ubuntu Jammy, so we need to type in Jammy here. That should do it. Been added. And then we'll just do an apt update. Very good. So then let's install LokiNet GUI. Then let's try. Let's make it start automatically. Then let's see if LokiNet GUI starts. If it does, great. If it does this, well, then we have to fix it. So close this guy here. Then go here and... So then we have to edit a file. I like the Joe editor. So edit that file. And erase the percent %u and change it with no sandbox. Save and exit and that should fix the problem. So let's try opening up looking at again. Yep, that fixed it. It's all golden, so at this point, let's verify that we can ping. Well, let's ping our Nemo.loki. Good, we are connected to LokiNet. So the next order of business is to download and install Thunderbird. You can find it at thunderbird.net. I've got it downloaded here, so I'm gonna run through the install. You can use Nemo Mail with any email client, but Thunderbird works for sure. And Thunderbird works across platforms, Windows, Linux, Mac, and just about everything else too. Highly recommended. So if you have problems with your other email programs, please use Thunderbird. So now that we have Thunderbird installed, let's get Nemo let's let's get the Nemo Mail account set up. So click on your browser, go to nemomail.me, click select options, choose the length of the account you want. Let's say I'm going to do a six month account. Click on add to cart, view cart, proceed to checkout and run through the checkout, place the order, and then scroll down to Nemo Mail email address, re address registration form. We'll click there. Make sure you save this order number and confirmation code. You will need it for resetting the password on your account. You'll need it for renewing your account, as well as if you wish to change the encryption key, you will need this information. So here we are at the Nemo Mail email registration form. First order of business is to figure out a, an email address that is available. So you can choose from the domain names that we offer. For instance, Monero Supply or Subaru OC, Swanson LLC. I'm going to choose Swanson LLC from here, .com. And let's put demo as the username. When you hit the tab key and move out of that field, it'll verify that the email address is available. Next, type in a password for it. The password complexity requirements are spelled out here, so make sure that it meets those complexities. If you wish to enable encryption at this time, you can check mark this box and then get your public key, which you may have pre-made already. If you don't have it pre-made, you can always come back and put it later. I'm gonna choose no encryption at this time. Session ID. You really should put your session ID here because if you lose the order number and the confirmation code, we won't be able to help you because we don't know who you are. So please put the session ID in there if you have one. 
If not, you can sign up for one free at getsession.org. And then we'll click on register my LokiNet address. Here, you can then click on this configuring Nemo mail for POP, IMAP, and SMTP. It'll give you in instructions. So if you're familiar with setting it up, you can do it yourself there. Or you can just follow along here with me. I'm going to go back to Thunderbird, type in my name, demo Nemo, demo at swansonllc.com. Punch in my password. Then click configure manually. For the protocol, you can choose IMAP or POP3. I recommend POP3 because with POP3, you can download the messages to your computer and they don't sit, sit in our server. It's more privacy conscious. But for right now, I'm gonna choose IMAP. It's more convenient. But again, all that depends on your threat model. In the host name, type in nemo.loki. For the port, you type in 143 for IMAP or 110 for POP. Connection security, none. LokiNet is already encrypted. Authentication method, normal password. Your username is the same as your email address. For outgoing server, again, nemo.loki, port number 587, no security, normal password, username is your email address, and then click advanced config. It says this dialog will be closed and an account with the current settings will be created, even if the configuration is incorrect. Do you want to proceed? Yes, click OK. Here we have, let's go to the inbox and we should have a test message waiting for us. There it is. Welcome to Nemo Mail. The information about your account is also here. So make sure you save this information. So that's that for setting, setting up the email. It should be all good to go. Now, if you wish to set up your encryption for this, end-to-end -end encryption, so that the messages that end up in your mailbox are encrypted, do this. First, click on where it says demo at swansonllc.com. Then click on end-to-end -end encryption. Click, click add key. Create a new key. Click continue. Key does not expire. You can choose the key type and the key size. I'm just gonna keep them as default. Generate the key. Click confirm. Takes a little bit. Then you go down here, more information. Click on more. Export this public key to a file. And put it in your documents. Save. And now you go back to Nemo Mail. And you can go to support. The first item here is Nemo Mail encryption change. Just click on that link right there. You type in your email address, which is uh, demo at swansonllc.com. Type in your password. And then you go get your encryption key, which will save to a file here. Let's open it with Notepad. It's their begin public key and end here, the entire thing. Copy. Paste it in here. Then you need the order number and the confirmation code. So you go back to your email here. So it was so 1247 for the order number and that one for the confirmation code. And then just hit tab to get out of that field and click on update Nemo Mail PGP public key. And it was successful. So now all of the emails that are coming to your in inbox will be encrypted. So I'm going to send an email to your mailbox. All right, I just sent an email. So now I'm going to click get messages. And there it is. Click on that one. 
And as you can see, it says open PGP and it's checkmarked. So this, this message has been encrypted. If you enable encryption, then the webmail program becomes pretty much useless. I'm going to show you how to how that is. So here we go to http colon slash slash nemo dot loki. Again, remember, LokiNet is encrypted already, so there is no need for HTTPS password. And we'll click login. So here's the welcome mail. The welcome mail is never encrypted. As you can see, it's you can read it. Now let's go back to the inbox and look at the encryption. Did it work? He can, you can see that you can read the subject and who it's from, but you can't read the message because it is PGP encrypted. So if you do choose to en uh, enable encryption, remember that the webmail becomes pretty much useless. If you choose to use encryption, there's one change that you will likely want to do, and that is making sure that your, the sent messages stay in your own computer rather than being placed on the server where they don't get encrypted. So make sure, since only inbound mails get encrypted, outbound mails do not. So go to settings, go to account settings, and then choose copies and folders. And when sending messages automatically, place a copy in sent folder on local folders. That way, your outbound messages do not get stored on the server. And that's it, you just click on that. And close this, and now when you send a message, actually I'm gonna to respond to the message that I just sent. And when you respond, it reminds me that Outbound, we don't have an encryption key for timatsutinen.com, which is true. So say do not encrypt. And then here, type in a response. This is a response. And when I hit send, the message gets sent and placed in the sent mail box on the local folders just like this, and not on the server where it would not be encrypted. So make sure that you do that change. And that's all she wrote. Have a happy day.